Hi everyone. Today I'm I'm just gonna show very very basic uh, swap using MetaMask. So I won't go into too much technical details. This is mainly for the uh, beginners. So who wants to try their first swap using MetaMask? So what we can do is uh, let's go to MetaMask. I already logged into my MetaMask here, and then I try to swap uh, maybe you know from one Matic to one USDC. So while you are in the MetaMask, you just go and click this swap button here and then select how many tokens you want to swap so in this case like i have only matic in my current wallet but like you can select whatever tokens you want to swap so i'm gonna select matic here as you can see my balance is 23.98 so i'll select uh, one matic that's the current price it's showing in the euros but uh, and then it's asking what token you want to swap so i'm gonna go and select usdc so basically i'm trying to you know swap my matic token to usdc and then <coughs> you have this option slippage tolerance so what it means is say for example you you try to swap the transaction and then in the meantime the price is gone up but like how much percent you want to pay extra like you know so i go and select uh, two percent so basically whatever the current price you have like you know up to two percent it can make if it's if the price is gone up more than two percent the swap will be cancelled it just protects if sudden uh, price changes or anything happens price fluctuations in the background so we won't be paying uh, too much extra so the maximum percent we are allowing is two percent so and then go and click review swap here and then uh, you can see the maximum fee it's asking 0.15 cents like yeah it's very very low compared to ethereum at the moment i am using the matic uh, mainnet so that's why it's uh, it's very low and then click on the swap here okay so processing it just uh, doing the you know the swap in the background but like at the moment if you want to uh, see you can go and click on view swap at transaction completed so that's very quick Let's go and see this transaction in the polygon scan. So you might be wondering what is this polygon scan? Polygon scan. So this is a blockchain explorer basically for the polygon uh, matic network. So if you do any transaction that should come up here. So let's, uh, let's go and put our uh, particular transaction. Okay, some reason it's not showing up uh, that one, but uh, let's go and copy this wallet address and then you put it here. Then it should bring up all the transactions which I did on that particular wallet. Okay, you can see here. Uh, I just copy pasted my wallet address here and then that's the transaction I did one minute ago and then just click on the transaction hash there and then you can see like you know where from where the transaction rooted and everything all the details for that uh, particular transaction so that's the transaction hash address and that's the block uh, used for uh, you know swapping and then that's the two address uh, like you know from where it did the swap you can kind of you know really go into you know check all the details for the particular transaction but like most important for us is what is the what was the matic value we paid it's like two two dollar thirty two cents and then what is the transaction fee 12 cents is the transaction fee so basically polygon scan is same like ether scan but this is mainly for the polygon network uh, to find out uh, like what's happening with the transaction this is really useful if the transaction is taking too long to see what's happening and how many blocks are completed or not and then let's go and see our uh, wallet is it correctly updated yeah you see my matic balance is reduced and then i have uh, one usdc more than one usdc there so we swapped one transaction uh, one token using the metamask but this is done on the matic network but like you can do same transaction using the ethereum network or bsc network like binance scan but then the transaction charges would be very very high so that's why it's better to use the polygon so 
yeah if you have any questions please leave a comment down below and then i'll try to address uh, those questions but like this is really you know aimed at for a beginners who like to use the metamask yeah if you like the content please subscribe and like the channel thank you